So, hi everyone, we're back here today, and if you're wondering, John, what is that you're wearing? Well, everyone, this was my first, one of my first Robin shirts, okay? So I'll let you see it in all its unglory, okay? This was one of my first Robin shirts at least five years ago that I made for Halloween, okay? Now you can see right now from the close-up the very, very bad sewing techniques and the quality. Okay, you can see I just tried to sew the yellow pieces into the fabric itself instead of thinking of techniques to hide the lines. Again, the elasticated straps. Okay, so these elasticated straps that I always show you guys for all the cosplays. Here is one from the old school John's uh, costume and I actually used it in the wrong way. So I actually used it as a black line going down the middle of the shirt. And it's just bad, okay? But I tried. I really tried the bad, uh, like Tim Drake style R right here that I just sewn onto the suit itself. Uh, this was one of my first suits, guys, but it just goes to show you that with some practice, some time and effort, you can turn your suits into glorious works of art. Okay, so this is a recent Robin suit from now, or well, now to then. And again, my other Robin shirt, yeah, I know. So in the middle, what I'm wearing right now is my old cosplay. This is was, well, this one is kind of a, a year old, if not a bit older. This one is, if not a month old. So you can see the difference just in sheer quality. So I'll actually stand right here close to the camera, let you get to see that all up close. And then you just switch to this. So this, 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 this. This, this, <laughs> okay everyone. So again, here are some further Robin shirts that I have. These are, were some older ones that I kind of did. Okay, so the improvement you can see from this to this. All right, so I have the shoulder piece going up still. I tried to do the three yellow lines in the suit. It didn't work out, but with some time and practice and some effort, Research it also, you can kind of just update and upgrade all of your suits. So again, here is another kind of Tim Drake style that I show you guys. And then here's my one piece Jason Todd style costume with the paint splatter, the blood splatter on the inside right here. So it's like a death in the family type memorial suit that I just, mwah, this is my baby. And yeah, I have also another, my very first cape. So the actual cape that I made for this suit was this, yeah. This cape right here went with this suit and the cape was the best thing to come out of the suit. So yeah, if just stand right by this so you can see kind of the similar points that I was going for the yellow tips, the kind of design that I tried to do with this. Also with the R, these actually are quite similar except it doesn't have the black line going down the middle. Yeah guys, I just wanted to show you this from now to then or from then to now. Uh, those were all my Robin cosplays. This was one of my very first. It just goes to show guys if you stick with something, if you give it some TLC, that's some tender love and care, you will get right back from it. Okay, cosplay, costumes, suit building. I've invested a lot of time, money, effort, social life, uh, <laughs> a lot of things just to upgrade in this and hopefully to build a career. I still have all my friends. Don't I? I don't really mean like you don't have to sacrifice your whole life for cosplay. It is very much a thing that you can integrate into your everyday life. And it just makes things 10 times better. It gives everything a better outlook. And I'm going to get out of this shirt and into one of the newer ones so that you can see the difference, okay? So hi everyone, I just thought I'd try on one that you haven't seen before. So this was one that I actually just had hanging up. I actually might redo all these. I might upgrade this with some padding down the side. But you can just see the difference, okay? So the difference in this, it's a nice tight fit. It has a much better flexibility, uh, a movement ratio, much cleaner lines, okay? It has that armor kind of going on. I have the shoulder pieces right here. So let me turn this inside out. Just again, everyone, please, if you care about this, if you like calm, er, uh, costumes, comics, gaming, anything you can cosplay as it you can cosplay anyone or anything that you want 
as long as you just put the heart and soul into it, that's all that really matters. And yeah, so this, to this, okay, to this, to this, ta-da! So yeah, everyone, this is just the Robin suit, all the updates. I'll not be jumping into any more unless you want me guys to do a video just trying on all the different Robin suits. I would actually do that because I love Robin and I have a lot of Robin suits. So for more updates, guys, the Blue Beetle was, uh, will be coming. There will be a new cosplay in the shape of a speedster. Not the Rebirth speedster, but a CW kind of speedster that I haven't did before. I think you all know who I'm coming to. So, yep, uh, a lot of people have asked about Spider-Man masks. Will I be doing more Spider-Man masks? Yes, guys, I will be doing those. But also, uh, I've got a lot of questions about the Maze Morales. There is actually one cosplayer at the minute who is doing a Maze Morales, and I do not want to take away from that person. So I'll give it maybe a week or two. Let that person's video be known. Let it get out there. Then I'll be coming in. I'll try and do Maze Morales if you guys want that, because that seems to be the one that I always get. But I don't want to be stepping on any other cosplayer's toes. Okay? So I'll try on one more mask for you guys. This is the new Spider-Man mask, if I can find it. And here we are. So this is the new Spider-Man mask with all the webbing drill on. Okay, so if you check us out on Instagram, you have already seen this picture, or you have already seen this mask. But you can see I have the webs drew on already. I apologize for uh, the camera quality. But yeah, I have drew on the webs with a pen. I went more comic style with these webs. I kind of did my own design as it got to the back of the mask. But yeah, everyone, the new lens update with the plastic lenses, the tight fit around here so that you have no glue at all. And the webs just drew on with a nice tight fit. So this is Spider-Man guys with uh, the Robin suit on and that actually looks pretty cool. I like how that looks. Thank you so much for watching everyone, I just want to share that quick update with you all because I love you and for me, everyone here in Ireland, stay awesome, always let your geek speak and yeah, I am Spadian, uh, Robman, I don't know, bye guys.